Oh man. Oh man. Would you look at that? Would you look at what's on my TV screen? And about a second later on my computer, where the game capture card's actually working this freaking time. Welcome one and all to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. What is that? Thanks to the help of these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. What is that thing? Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. Hold on a second. Is that the crowd cheering in the background? That's so freaking cool. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon trainers. What is that thing? The elephant thing. I love it. I'm not going to use it because I already have like four of my team members picked out and maybe a fifth, uh, possibly, if my friend Nick can get it for me, um, which he already has. He just hasn't gotten it to me yet because I haven't started the game yet. But I still really love it. Look at it. Look at his little butt jiggling. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. Now, turn your gaze to the Gala region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. This is a very different intro for a Pokemon game, too. Holy crap. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. That seems dangerous, but all right. His outfit is so spectacularly terrible. Ah, it's Charizard! I love Charizard. Kinda mad that he's getting so much attention because it's making people hate him. But I love Charizard. Ooh, that's that cool steel dragon. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end something something. You know I don't lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, Dynamax. We've seen this a thousand times and yet it still impresses us such a cool design. I like the Mega Charizard, but that thing is really cool in its own way, too. Pokemon Sword. <laughs> what a stark contrast. Holy crap. Oh, hey, look, it's Hal 2.0. What's his name? Hop? Is that his name? Is it Hop? Not even, they're not even pretending. Check out that sweet TV. Check out that sweet human. Are they called humans in the Pokemon world? Was I watching that? Was my character watching that? Hello, hello! Who are you and what are you doing in my house? Oh! That your flash new phone hero? There's gonna be a lot of slang in this game, I don't know, isn't there? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Is this gonna be a thing? Is, is, he, gonna, is he gonna do that silly pose that Leon did? Hop! Didn't expect you to, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Is that my mom? Th that is a fantastic character design. In fact, I've seen enough trailers for this game that I know there's some pretty fantastic looking characters in this game. I'm probably going to be gushing over the great character designs a lot in these videos, so, you know, watch them anyway, even if that annoys you, because I need money. Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Hero. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recorded at home anyway. I record all of my brother's matches. It's a very subtle way to exposit the fact that he's related to Leon. I like it. Come with me, hero. He should be here any minute. So is that already my Rotom phone that I'm holding there? Well, obviously if it is, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it is. I'm just going to headcanon that that's the same Rotom that Hero uh, had back in the Alola region because this is definitely the same character that I 
uh, played as in that game and all other games since Pokemon Gold and Silver versions, which you guys would know if you had watched my prelude to this series. Um, anyway, and Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at my, see you at mine later. That's gonna catch me off guard every single time when they say, say something just a little different than I would expect them to. Right, can I move now? All right. I move just a little faster than I would like, which is gonna annoy me. So I'm really bad with joysticks. All right. So, Hop says something about a bag. Hey mom, you look different than last time I saw you. Um, it's like every time we move to a new region, you just change your look completely. Rushing off in that state, hero? Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I last saw it in your room. And don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Yes, because we are in Britain, and British weather sucks. Though, I'd really like to go there because I like the rain, and I like dreary weather. I think I'd actually get on really well in Britain, especially because... Um, you don't have to pay as much money for medicine there, and I, I like the idea of that. You grabbed your dad's old bag. Alright. Is that the same dad that was a gym leader back in the Hoenn region? Because for my character it is, somehow. I like, the, I like this character's design. The girl character's better, but... Um, no, no, I probably should have played as the girl character and still been here. That would have been fine. Uh, adventure Guide. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. What a shocker. Uh, you can save your progress by selecting Save from the X menu. Also, quite a shocker. Not really. You can also check your location on your <laughs> and your next destination by selecting the town map. You get the town map right from the beginning. That's nice. It's good that they're getting rid of superfluous item pickups. That's, that's, that's good. And you can check this Adventure Guide anytime you want in the key items section of your bag, which I guess that means this is technically an item or something. Alright, let's check this out. Alright, so I've got save, town map, and options. Let's look at the town map. Hey Rotom, it's good to see you again. Um, oh, it shows me like a little highlight of where, where I'm at. That's very cool. Alright. Um... Okay, so the Galar region's really big. Either that or this map is just really detailed. Holy crap. This is really cool. This is a really cool looking region. Like, we got some images of it. The last one I saw was pretty fuzzy. I didn't really pay attention to it. But, I mean, that's really freaking cool. Um, let's check the options real quick while I have a second. Text speed normal, because I want to be able to read it for you guys. It would be on fast if I was playing this like a second time through or I just didn't care. Battle effects can stay on, that's fine. Battle style switch, cassette is awful. Uh, send a box is manual. Okay. Give nicknames or don't give nicknames, that's interesting. Gyroscope use, why would it matter? Am I gonna need to use the gyroscope in this for something? Oh, that's gonna suck. Uh, vertical camera controls, regular, horizontal camera controls, regular, autosave, off, because it makes me very uncomfortable to have autosave in a Pokemon game. I can't articulate why, but it does. Casual controls, this mode makes it easier to play with one hand, that's cool. Like, not just because the Switch controller can become two smaller one-handed controllers, but because, like, some people have, like, screwed up hands. That's like really, really good. I like that. Show nicknames. You can select if you want to show your Pokemon's nicknames during Link battles. Yeah, I'll keep that. Skip movies. Is that like cutscenes? So I will not skip those. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yes, I would like to save these settings. Settings have been saved. I'm going to... I uh, manually save my game just because I'm a paranoid son of a bitch and I'm going to be doing that a lot. Uh, I've played a lot of Skyrim 
And um, so I've taught myself to save and save often. All right. Hop is waiting for you. Better head outside. Look at this quaint little cottage in this quaint little town. I love it. Like, okay, I can already see the textures aren't great, right? They're not fantastic. They're not perfect. But this is still a really well-designed area. Hello, buddy. But do you do? Hey, Hop. How you doing? Ha ha! Have a look at you, hero. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything we might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. No, no, it would not. But I forgive you because you are a pitiful child who has never been on an adventure before and does not know how big a Snorlax actually is, probably. All right. <laughs> look at him! Look at look at the Wooloo! Hey Wooloo, but what's it doing there? It looks like it's hitting its head against that gate for some reason. Because Wooloo are stupid. They are cute and they are stupid and I love them. I will not be using one though because I know that Hop uses one. And I, I can't guarantee there's not going to be any overlap in our teams, but I want, I want there to be as little overlap in our teams as possible. That's hilarious. I love it. And and we're just going to stand here and watch, apparently. Hey, you silly woo-woo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. That wasn't a tackle. That was like a... That was like a, a gentle nudge. Now, you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering... Is that wield? I'm going to say wield. Wait, hold on. Are you saying... My house is built at the edge of, like, like, like danger, like a danger zone. People in the Pokemon world are so freaking irresponsible. Meh. <laughs> that's so cute. Now that that's taken care of, it's not taken care of. The oh, there's a Butterfree in the background. Look at that. Look at it just fluttering around. Yeah, it's not taken care of. That Wulu is still doing the exact same flipping thing. Hop is going to turn out to be a great Pokemon trainer, I can already tell. How about it, hero? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging around that big old bag? Sorry, I got distracted by the Butterfree again. That's just it's such a cool attention to detail, and then you look behind it, and there's like rolling fields and hills back there too, and I just want to go explore all of them, and I know I can't because this is still a Pokemon game. It's not a Bethesda game, which is probably good because I don't want the game crashing every 14 seconds. But still, look at it, it's so cool looking. This music's really good too. I'm just I'm just taking a second to listen to it. Alright, let's let's go though. I, I, I don't wanna waste too much and the woo woo rolls after it. That's so cute. You're not gonna cause trouble, are you? I didn't think so. Probably is Look, there's more butterfreeze. And there's more woo woos. And there's more woo woos. So I guess is that supposed to like imply that the the player character really is like Scottish, and then you head into more like proper British areas as you go, or something? Because a lot of people thought that when they saw the design of the girl character. What do you have to say? <sighs> the power of science is amazing, of course. This man has been stalking me since I was a smaller child than I am. Of course, he would be here too. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Couldn't you do that already? I mean, there were some other steps in the middle there, but it was effectively the same thing, right? Isn't that super amazing? Go away! Alright, um... Hey, a hero! Hop was looking for you, you know? Oh, it's the kid talking. I thought it was the Wooloo talking for a second. Um, no need to go to the next town to find him right? when he lives right next door, right? Alright. Can I, can I talk to you without that happening? I don't want to risk it because I don't want to go through that again. This is cool. This has got to be Hop's house. It's the only other direction we could go. Can I get in here? Can I get behind here? I can't get back there either. That's mildly disappointing. Alright. Um, anything of interest on here? Can I talk to you from back here? And it just does the same thing. Alright, that's fine. 
Um, he's got a little battling arena there. That's pretty cool. It's very small. Like, not really good for much, honestly, I, w I wouldn't think. But alright. Um, do I have to go in here? Can I go inside? Yeah, he's got he's got a nice little grill set up. That's, that's pretty cool. That was quick. Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought along Hero. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time, honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. Yeah, you know Lee is hopeless with the directions. He can't... I, can he not even find his own way to his own house? I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Apparently he can't. Alright, that's great. Oh, you will? Yes, that's probably for the best. You've got to come with me, hero. Uh, you still never met my big bro, right? Nope, because I only moved here like two weeks ago. Uh, you can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. So Root's just, like, synonymous with with street in this world, I guess. Hey! Hey, hello. You. Yeah. Hello. Are you his dad? To hop, his brother is a superhero. And that is literally all you have to say. Alright. Who are you? Leon is so busy that he hardly comes home. Uh, but I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. I'm betting this is his room because it's got all the dumb hats in it. So this must be Hop's room. His parents just don't get one, as per tradition in the Pokemon world. I like those posters. Um, those are all Pokemon that get Gigantamax forms, if I'm remembering correctly. Which is kind of cool. Need to stop running into walls. Alright, I'm just, I'm gonna leave. Maybe their, their room is down in the basement, because there is a basement door there. Hey, Hop, how's it going? Let's get a move on. Only remember, Hero, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Hero, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Man, if you only knew how many Pokemon I actually have, it's just they all got cut from the National deck, so I wasn't able to bring them over here. Actually, I am mad about a couple of them. Murkrow's not in this game, and Murkrow is like one of my signature Pokemon. Alright, so I can't turn the camera. So I can't look at these fields, but I can kind of pull back and look at them. They look cool. This all looks really freaking cool. Route 1. Can I see... Like, aren't Pokemon supposed to appear in the overworld? I guess they're just not spawning, period, yet. Until I can go in the grass. I mean, I could try going in the grass. No wandering in the tall grass uh, for you if you've not if you've got no Pokemon of your own, mate. He says, "Mate, that's that's glorious." Let's go and meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead from here, and he still couldn't find his way from the station back to his house. Holy shit! This guy is hopeless. We're gonna end up having to save his life or some stupid thing, aren't we? Ugh, Wedgehurst. What a gloriously British name. Holy shit. I'm, I'm loving the aesthetic of this game so much so far. It's just so good. Oh my god. He's like... Cringe. Concentrated down into the form of a human being. Which again, I don't know if they're actually called humans in the Pokemon world. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles uh, you all, for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon, and his Charizard are the greatest. Or, Leon, and you, you, yes, you saw it. It's fine. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Yeah. I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. And then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee. 
But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. And he's so smug about it. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong. But other Pokemon can be strong as well. Oh, God. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. I love that the whole gym thing is like a major sport in this one. That's such a cool idea. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Gwaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Is it? Literally, yes. Okay. I chose Grookey! Would you like to give Grookey a nickname? Yes, I would. Are you a... Ah, it's a, it's a girl. I, I cannot remember the last time my, my starter wasn't a girl. When I uh, got Pokemon Yellow version and played through it and then transferred my Pikachu from that over to Gold version... It was a freaking girl. My first for alligator in gold version was a freaking girl. I think the only male starter I've ever gotten was in uh, ruby version, actually. My Torchic. And then I got Emerald, and my uh, uh, Trico was a girl. And every single one since then has been a freaking girl. It's so freaking weird. I don't understand why. But I am not opposed to it. You, my friend, are going to be named... Dixie. After Dixie Kong. Yeah, so cute! This game has a lot of problems, and I will not be ignoring any of them, but it does so many things so well. So it'll be Grookey for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Sobble. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion. So be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. This kid really needs to lower his expectations. I kind of feel bad for moving into his hometown now. Yeah, it's so, so cute. Look how happy it is. Sobble was going to be my, my first pick. I'm so mad that I don't like its final evolution. Because I like its second one. I've seen that too, and I like that. I, like that. I just don't like the final one. I, I'm so sad because I like Sobble so much. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Hero, so the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. To try to reach me, as if you're the pinnacle. All right. Oh, poor Squirt Bunny. And you'll come with me. That is so cool. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind too. That's so cool. That's got to be a nod to the old Professor Oak thing. Because if you guys don't know. Uh, there's some, there's a cut, there's a cut battle in, uh, Pokemon Red and Blue versions that you can access with the Mew Glitch, if you do it a little differently, where you get to battle a version of Professor Oak who has the starter, uh, fully evolved, that was not picked by you or your rival at the beginning of the game, and where the levels of his Pokemon are all at about the same level that Champion Gary, Blue, Green, whatever you call him, um, what the level that his Pokemon were at in his champion fight. So, I don't know if there's ever been official confirmation of it, but the implication is that originally, uh, Professor Oak was supposed to be the, the reigning champion, and he was going to come at you with a team built around the starter that wasn't picked at the beginning of the game. This has got to be a nod to that. And that's, that's so cool. I like it a lot. Alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon, and let's all eat. So, like, is there an actual passage of time in this game? Uh, those kebabs, the grilling of those kebabs actually sounds delicious. What kind of meat is that, though? Just out of curiosity. Because current policy is that there are no non-Pokemon animals in the Pokemon world, even though there obviously are, because they're mentioned in Pokedex entries all the time. Uh, so where did that meat come from? I try not to think about it. The next day. You spent the whole night with your new partner? You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? And maybe even build up a little bit of love? I hope not. Jeez, Leon. Can't leave that to the fanfic writers. Of course I have Lee. Here has made fast friends with his Grookey, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Let's just say... The higher the pedestal, the more painful the fall. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be challenging you. Will be coming to challenge you. I doubt it. I really doubt it. It would be kind of cool 
I guess if he becomes champion before um, the player character, before Hero gets to fight Lee, but I doubt it. Pokemon's writers aren't that good. If you think Hero might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. This is definitely what Leon had, had planned, right? But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer. I know it doesn't. Being a trainer for a really long time and saving the world like a dozen times makes me a real trainer. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, all of them do. Oh, oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend. If he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Dude. I, remind me to give you my, one of my business cards later. Sure. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too. Uh, with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to... Choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. Okay. Not exactly the sentiment I expected him to mention there, but that's fine. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Is that his catchphrase? I kind of love it. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. On this very tiny stadium. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Um, was it pick the starter that's weak against mine? Because I think if that's what you think, you're off to a bad start. What fantastic music. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo, because of course he did. I'm going to kick this thing's ass. Alright, Dixie, let's go. Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Yeah, it doesn't really seem fair uh, to you. Okay, so doesn't this thing have an ability that stops physical damage or something? It doesn't seem like it does, because that wasn't very impressive. Um, it, well, it didn't take that hit very impressively. Uh, rather. I kind of want to do a growl. Just, I don't like using the same move twice in a row. It wouldn't actually help me, though. Thing's starting to annoy me. It did a moderate amount of damage to my Pokemon. Alright, bye, Wooloo. Sorry about that. Maybe his has a different ability? I don't know. Um, how much do I get? Enough to get up to level 6. How much you want to bet I'm about to learn an elemental-typed move? Oh, would you look at that. What is Branch Poke? It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. <sighs> Alright. What is Branch Poke? Uh, more info. Oh, no, it's just Grass type tackle. Alright. That looks pretty cool. And it did so much damage. Did you already know about type advantages? Literally everyone should know that in this world. It's like one of the major, like, known things in this world. Finish it. The opposing Sobble fainted. Of course it did. And I gain more experience, and I level up again. Excellent. All right. Beautiful. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Grookey are too much. Just wait until I get more Pokemon, dude. You're going to hate me a lot. <laughs> 